Basically, they tell you that it's uh, not possible, so I have to park here. <laughs> Fill up like this oh. 10 liters. in the morning and welcome back to the channel wouldn't think it seeing this weather but all the roads are in a really really bad shape uh, vehicles got stuck all of that the only tricky thing is that um, where we're going now is not the worst part yet so the road is in worse condition after that um, and um, they have a system of um, I say local transportation, uh, which are called flotas. Flotas son como mini minibus, o son cuatro por cuatro. No, son bus. Son Okay, so the the flotas, what they call it here, those are the, the buses. And uh, yesterday they all got like stuck, stuck in the mud. And yeah, with the bike it's impossible. Uh, there are a lot of uh, really steep sections super slippery mud yeah. uh, yesterday i was just walking here and uh, i almost uh, fell just walking it's that slippery so uh, yeah but at least checking this section will already give me an idea that if this looks really bad then there's no point in uh, attempting to leave here and i just have to be patient patient um, and just wait for uh, the track to dry um, the weather forecast looks good, so it doesn't look like there's more rain coming. So it's just a matter of waiting until the tracks are dry and it's not so muddy and slippery anymore. Then I can uh, attempt it. That's why they say patience is a virtue. Uh, it's kind of hard because there's absolutely <laughs> nothing to do in this town. Um, internet is kind of on and off. Every now and then I have a little bit of internet. Not much. Uh, so yeah, there's not much, uh, not much to do around here. but. Uh, these roads are too tricky and too risky to uh, attempt when it's all uh, wet and muddy. So let's see. So we are now right at the point where uh, Valley, Valley. two days ago I took that track uh, down the mountain to La Higuera. We're now at the, the cross point. So when I'm leaving I have to go that way. And the bus is now coming. So that's what they call flota. It's a proper a big bus. I thought it was going to be like a mini bus, but look how big it is. So it's driving this road. So I think that's a good sign that if they're able to pass. No. Now I'm Pujara and uh, we're just going to check the exit road, which I have to take uh, on my way to Santa Cruz. And this is the place where yesterday all the buses got extremely stuck in like a meter of mud. So uh, just want to check how it looks like. And hopefully after one more day of sun uh, it will be okay to pass. Let's see. Oh, yeah. 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 Ciao! Adios! <laughs> okay, let's go to Santa Cruz. I gave it another day here to, uh, to dry. 
and there hasn't been any more rain so I am uh, pretty optimistic that the track should be should be doable I got that one tricky section just after uh, Pukara which I'm very curious how that's going to look like now but uh, we'll see first it's 10 kilometers on this track back up to the top of the mountain then it's another about 50 kilometers on uh, dirt and after that I think it should be paved all the way to Santa Cruz but uh, the total distance of today is uh, 300 kilometers which is uh, a long day especially given that first I have to uh, ride this track which uh, takes some time Hello. So there's a little bit of water uh, here and there, just uh, the small creeks coming from the mountains. But all in all the road is, uh, is dry, so that is uh, perfect. Well, I am almost uh, at the top, I believe the top is over there. And then from there uh, I'm almost in uh, Pukhara. Then we will see how the how the road looks there. Wow, look at the view. It's now clearer than uh, why, when I arrived here, so you can even see further. Beautiful, right? And I mean there's there's almost no roads here. This is the only road, kind of the main road through this entire area. That right there is uh, Pukhara. So I go down here and then up and then I have to go up to that mountain. That's where the, the tricky part is, I think. Okay, so this is the area where all the buses got stuck in the mud. That was this section here, let's see. Oh, this is no problem. They've definitely done some work here level it out a bit and it's all dry Where did you come from? Huh? Where did you just come from? Hola, como esta? Good? This is, oh I was saying Via Grande, it's Valle Grande. Okay, I'm all, almost out of uh, Valle Grande. Quite a big, big town, to be honest. It's now a little over 200 kilometers to Santa Cruz de la Sierra. But it should be all asphalt, so uh, easy peasy going. Move, ladies! Toot toot! Come on!
Eh, 10 litros. 10 litros. 10 litros. Sí. Ok. Gracias. Tiene un... Uh, ¿Puedo prestar? Gracias. Basically, they tell you that it's uh, not possible, so I have to park here. <laughs> Fill up like this. Oh. 10 liters. Okay, let's continue. I got 140 kilometers left to Santa Cruz. the wrong signal. We thought that the excavator stopped but it just <laughs> kept on going. Places like this, you know, with a heavy rainy season and mountain roads. It's just an everlasting fight against landslides. And every season again they have to repair the road. I arrived in Santa Cruz de la Sierra. It is a tropical hut here. And uh, quite a busy city, as you can see. I'm going to ride a little bit more into the city center and then uh, find a place to stay there. Oh, it's been a while since I was uh, navigating uh, traffic like this. Definitely been a while. Okay, there's a hostel somewhere here. Yes, 360 degrees. Well, it also feels like 360 degrees here. Oui. This is the route that I did today. I started somewhere here in the in the jungle in La Higuera, and then I rode the dirt road until I hit the main road, and then I went like this here to Santa Cruz, where I am now. That was it for today. I really hope you liked this video. If you did. Please give me a big thumbs up and subscribe down below and then I'll see you in the next video.